when you wake up in the morning, put a GoPro on your head. And at the end of the day, watch your whole day. And if there's any part of the day that is unfulfilling, that you're not excited to do again tomorrow, edit that out because you're not living your best life. You're not doing your purpose if that's what's going on. This is so because the self-imposed limitations to balanced perception and objective logic, which are cultural and personal psychological subjectivity, imposes when we use the strictly left brain thinking style, could be offset by the holistic form of perception associated with altered states of consciousness. In other words, they're saying that if people start using both hemispheres of their brain and they synchronize the electrical activity, that they'll go into an altered state of consciousness and they'll realize that they're the one generating the experience that they're living. And then you're free. All you have to do is just govern yourself and not do any harm. To the extent that we come to perceive ourselves fully in the context of that portion of the universal hologram is the reflection of ourselves. To that extent, we release ourselves from the prison of subjectivity. That means we don't judge ourselves anymore. All you're doing is is looking what's in there right now. So just edit it to be how you like. Self-knowledge. It was axiomatic to the mystic philosophers of old that the first step in personal maturity could be expressed in the aphorism, know thyself. To them, the education of man undertook as its primary step achievement of an introverted focus so that he learned what was within himself before attempting to approach the outside world. They rightly assumed that he could not effectively evaluate and cope with the world until he fully understood his personal psychological balance. The insights being provided by 20th century psychology in this context, through the use of various kinds of personality testing, seem to be a revalidation of this ancient intuition. But no personality test or series of tests will ever replace the depth and fullness of the perception of self which can be achieved when the mind alters its state of consciousness sufficiently to perceive the very hologram of itself, which it has projected into the universe in its proper context as part of the universal hologram, also known as the collective or everything, in a totally holistic and intuitional way. This would seem to be one of the real promises of the gateway experience from the standpoint of its ability to provide a portal through which, based on months, if not years of practice, the individual may pass in his search to find self, personal effectuality, and truth in the larger sense. So that's a lot of jargon, but basically what it's saying is this. I want to break this down in a simple conclusion. Let's say you had more money than God. And you had all the people you could ever want. And you took all that data and you compiled it with all these bizarre supernatural experiences that everybody had. And when you distill it all down and condense it and refine it, they found that this same theme runs through lots of different religions. If you want to watch a fantastic movie, watch Zeitgeist, Z-E-I-T-G-E-I-S-T. I I believe it's free on several places online like YouTube. And in the beginning, they go through, I don't know, 100 maybe or 50. Don't quote me on that. But there's like 2,000 some religions and they all, you know, have the virgin birth on the 25th of December and et cetera, et cetera. So, You'll see that they all came from a much older context called the Law of One, which I believe was also channeled through the raw material. Ra is in the sun god, R-A. You can find that also on YouTube. And it basically is do no harm at the end of the day. Because if you're doing harm to the outer world, you're harming yourself because the hologram that you're in is the one that you're conditioned to be in from your story. So this narrative that we have, like we all live the narrative 
that's conditioned in our subconscious. So at the end of the day, if you can pull yourself to a point of view where you wake up and you go, hey, this is a hologram. I'm going to look at my instrument panel called my experience. And if there's anything that I see on the instrument panel that doesn't look right, I'm going to edit it so everything's on course. And as long as I do unto others only what I love done unto me and the solution does no harm, it's always the right choice. And you're going to end up being efficient at getting to what your goal is in the least amount of time. I hope this has been very informational for you guys. I hope everyone has a great day. I love you guys for tuning in. Do like, share, comment, all that stuff. Maybe some revelations on what that means to you. I'm not saying there's not a God. Like at the end of the day, this is saying that consciousness is spirit or, you know, however you want to design your blueprint. But they're saying that science has actually proven that religion and science no longer conflict. The only thing that conflicts with, with true, with the truth, I guess is what I would say, would be falsities, right? So the, the truth of everything can't be changed because things are the way they are. Reality operates the way that it does, and nobody's going to change that. So all we can do is study it. Once you've mastered it and you know thyself, when you know thyself, then you know why your story is the way it is. And so you just look at the outer experience. You go, okay, let's edit this scene, edit this scene. Cool, tomorrow we're going to do this. And that's it. And that's what I do with hypnotherapy is I teach people how to design a new life for themselves, one that they want to show the whole world. This has been a broadcast of the Reality Intervention Network. I look forward to sharing more information that will help you guys succeed in your life in the least amount of time. Peace.